All right. Our next question says, when the bodyguard wiped his greasy hand on Mike's new suit, I almost died. This was an act of war. <laughs> How will this interaction shape Mike and Chan's feud? It's on fire. <laughs> That's the first time I said lit lit. That's so funny. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> it's on fire, okay? It is a raging inferno. Mike wants blood. <laughs> he wants to rip Chan from limb to limb. And, you know, Chan is standing in the way of his most beloved trophy, you know? So it's, it's a whole problem, you know? Malia's the one that got away <laughs> and he wants her back, you know? <laughs> And, and he's not going to let anything stop him because he doesn't know what that looks like. So, yeah, I definitely think, um, yeah, it, it's very disrespectful to wipe your dirty hands on somebody, period. Like, I don't even know. I don't. It's not worse than spitting in somebody's face because that's the ultimate cutthroat to me. Um, but it's along those lines, you know, spitting in somebody's face, wiping your dirty hands on my clothes, especially my new Italian suit, you know, and, you know, I also think getting kicked in the face with a foot is very disrespectful. Like you got slapped with a foot, you know, there's no coming back from that. Um, but <laughs> Um, you know, being chained up in a warehouse and beat and made to give over your firstborn child. You know, I mean, those are all in the same category. So, you know, it's 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 all out war. Michael Mike's coming, Prince Michael's coming for blood. Like at that point, yeah, come on. And you're in a restaurant, you don't eat his fancy appetizers and stuff. Like, you know, people are wearing their best. So to wipe your hands with somebody, I mean, that is wild. That's that's definite. You don't do nothing like that and not be ready to fight. Like, you, you, yeah, that's like spitting in somebody's face or, you know, putting your hands on somebody first. Um, yeah, and I was before Mike took a swing at him, too. He just, you know, he 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 stood up. And instantly, with the disrespect, gonna wipe his fingers and stuff. I'm like, dang, he's ready to go for it. Um, and so, yeah, Mike at that point, um, and like I said, it happened in Rose City, like at a very popular restaurant. People probably were filming. People, you know, somebody got that mess on tape. Mike has to come for blood. He got to do something. You, you, you don't just let some stuff like that slide. Come on. And I'm sure when he got slammed into the soup, you know, it splashed a little bit. You know, he, he left a whole mess. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, it's it, how it's going to shape it. It's war. It's on now. It's on. It, it probably even about Malia at this point. It's about that suit. <laughs> And that disrespect, <laughs> he already know he, at this point, he know he ain't going to get Malia, but it's like, all right, fine, but I'm going to deal with you, you know? So yeah, that's, that's what I, I, I think how that's going <laughs> to Yeah. That public person is only hitting differently. That's one of the things that Mike did say, like, who are these people? What businessman hires going to come people up? So now there are bells going off for Mike that maybe Chan is something else is going on because this doesn't look, you know what I mean? So I, I think it's, it's it's going past people. I think it's who's the big dog now. Who's going to win this battle? All right, um, Chan seems incredibly dangerous. Who has Malia gotten herself involved with? Who else would Chan do this to? Hmm. 
um, Chan, like I said, his toxic side is coming out um, little by little, you know, from the voice changes to the demanding shit, you know, with her getting in the car and her seeing the doctor, like that controlling side is coming out. He didn't even ask her, hey, let's go see your physician. Let's go to urgent care. No, it's they about to get it on and boom. Oh, yeah, that's right. I called the doctor. He's going to check you out. And he's telling the doctor what happened to her, what he thinks happened to her, whatever. You know, wouldn't even let her talk. But, um, yeah, and he got his people, you know, on Chris, um, on Chris you know, uh, Chris got chased into the woods or some mess, disappeared in a creek. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> but the fact that they chased him, you know, they mean business. Um, and then this thing with Mike. In the same night, I might have had, like, hey, two of y'all, that way. The other, the rest of y'all, that way, you know. And he got his whole team out, you know, um, crushing parts of Malia's life. <laughs> you know, so, um, yeah, I don't think, she doesn't know who she got herself involved with yet. Um, it's slowly coming out. And when it does come out, you know, I feel like baby girl gonna be stuck because this this Negro's a he's he's crazy, um, in a calm, sexy crazy. That's that's the thing when niggas be wilding out. Yeah, motherfucker, boo, 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 boo. that don't impress me. It's like when you just you you just cool and you smooth with it, and then like you know the whole world is blowing up behind you. I'm like, oh, you know some shit. Damn. <laughs> And so, um, but I'm, I'm moving away from that. We, we don't do toxic men no more. No, no, Lily. No. <laughs> um, who else would he, who, who else would Chan do this to? Um, anybody he sees as a possible threat, anybody, um, who messes with Malia? Um, anybody who would get in his way, shoot, hopefully the homegirls don't talk too much, you know, he might have something done to somebody else if they try to convince him, you know, it'd probably be Wendy, like, girl, hold on, he did what, Are you sure about that, and then she come up missing, you know, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think he would do it to anyone that would, that can, um, have some type of impact on Malia and what he got going on. That's his game plan. That's the end game is Malia being his. And so, but yeah, that's my answer. Praise God. <laughs> One of y'all want to take it? Yes. Okay. So outside of reality, outside of reality. Yes, Chan is incredibly dangerous, but Nikita thinks he's, it's, it's so hot. It's so sexy. And like Alicia said, you know, he's just chill with it. He's just cool with it. You know, every like, everybody wants a king that's going to come through and take over and run it, run it. You ain't going to do this. You ain't going to do that. I got this. I got that. Boom, boom, boom. We doing this. We doing that. I mean, I don't care. Okay, sure. That's fine. Surveil me. Put the cameras up. Okay, anyway. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, Malia, Malia doesn't know who she's gotten herself involved with. And I mean, at this point, it's too late. She doesn't know it. But why not enjoy the ride, baby girl? You know, because if you don't, your life's about to be over. You know, as soon as you buck back, it's like, oops, I'm sorry, now you're dead. And now he's on to the next. You know? Um, so yeah. And I mean, with Chan, anybody can get it. Anybody can get it, you know? So it's like Malia, be glad that he's obsessed with you and you're not a liability because you would have already been gone. I don't know. That sounds really toxic to say, but for the love of Rose City, I'm going to say it. <laughs> so... Uh, but yeah, I mean, with Chan, who else would he do this to? Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it. Because he already threatened um, Malia's father. 
if you don't make her love me, if you don't convince her to be with me, I'm wiping out your whole family. So it's not about he's so in love with her. It's about I want her. And if I can't have her, then she's gone. You're 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 not of value to me, you know. So I don't I, I really don't Chan is a sociopath, if that is that is that the correct name for it? You know, so when when they fixate on you, you're important to them. But once that fixation is gone, you're just like everybody else. I mean, it's like water it's dripping out of the faucet it's just like you're 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 there one second gone the next it's like you don't matter you know and with the sociopath their minds are different so it they just don't tick and talk the way the that regular people do you know but so you know i mean but yeah it's kind of hot too if you think about it so uh, and yeah, dangerous. Who uh, has Malia gotten herself into? She involved with? She don't know. I mean, she uh, beautiful hair, <laughs> a nice suit on. You know, he had all this nice car. He just seemed like a great guy. You know, he just seemed like keeps this, this whole package. And he was like, "You want me?" Okay. Um, you know, she don't know. Is. You don't, don't know till you know. You find who people are based on them. So no, she don't have no clue who is, how she's involved with. Um, who else would he do this to? Chan gonna give it to anybody. It's rated E. It's for everybody. Take a card, honey. Take a number. Come random. You know what I mean? What does Chan hope to accomplish by being disrespectful? I feel like it's like being protecting his castle and his territory, you know? And once you claim something as yours, you're not anything upon that, you know? It's like any, any sign of a threat, even if it's not a threat, you know, because you know that you have the the ability to eliminate this threat, no matter how small, no matter how large, you know, it's still a threat, you know, to the kingdom. And you're gonna go full on out, you know? So the the biggest way to uh, minimize a man's ego, quality, character, is to disrespect him, to belittle him in front of his community, in front of his people, show him how small he is. You, what you're not about to do up in these Kong streets, okay? You know, this is his family now. This is his town now. Kong run these streets, you know? So he is letting Mike know, I don't care who you are. I don't care how big you think you are. I run these streets, you know? And that's the, that's the point, you know? It's not about his threat to Malia because there is no threat because Mike could never, you know? So, <laughs> um, yeah, so... It's just about letting him know uh, you're a chihuahua, pipe down, learn your place, stay in your lane. I got this over here. You're irrelevant. All righty. <laughs> um, let me pull... The question. They're loading. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. We're past that. Alrighty. What is um what is he's hoping to run him off? That's that's the end game. He's hoping to um run him run him off. That's that's what else would he he might want to fight him a little bit <laughs> but um yeah that's that's what i'm thinking he's hoping to accomplish he's not just doing it just for the hell of it there's a reason it's malia he wants malia and he don't need any distractions or any potential distractions you know so um with 
him and when he gets his hands on Chris, it's going to be an issue too, a whole situation. <laughs> so um, <laughs> that's what I think he's trying to accomplish. Like, hey, back off. This is mine. You know, letting them know. You know how men are. They got to mark their territory. That's basically it. He's trying to send a message and, you know, run them off, but also send a message like, hey, I'm not the one to play with. I'm not for play play. <laughs> I'm real in these streets. <laughs>Question says, this chapter was alarming. There is a real shift we are now seeing take place in this story when it comes to Chan's character. Chan's other side is coming out more. How much longer do you think he will be able to keep his dark side from Malia? Longer, you know, and, and that's a part of the plan. That's a part of the scheme. Chan and many other men across America fictional reality they have uh you know they gotta rope you in they put that bait out there especially when they know they're crazy when they know they got some fucked up shit going on right they they, they gotta they gotta you know they put their their a game out there yeah all that and they get us to fall for it they get us real in. our feelings are there oh okay yeah he's cool he's good oh okay yeah i could see a future with him you know and then we get into these relationships and it's all perfect and everything is okay we see the we see the little red flags but we don't pay attention to it you know we just like oh that's because this that's because that oh it's okay you know that's just little you ain't got to worry about it my phone my, yeah he said my phone died but that, that bar was full. okay we're not gonna worry about it you know, we get real in, right? We got feelings now. And that's when the shit hits the fan. We start seeing it more and more, but we're already up in. We've already been here for a while. We're already invested emotionally, physically, you know? And so we're just like, okay, but, okay, but, okay, well, I'll give them another chance. Hey, baby. Hi, bye. You okay? You wanna say hi? Hi, Auntie Kita. Hi. Auntie Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> Um, but when the shit hits the fan, we we continue to excuse it because we're our hearts already invested, right? You know, so we keep giving in more and more. Okay, well this, okay, well that, okay, well, and then we accept sorry, and then sorry starts coming with gifts, and then sorry, you know, comes with meals and foot rubs and back rubs and you know, pound towns. And so <laughs> Uh, and then it's a mess. And then before you know it, you are in a 10 car pile up in the middle of I-5 and you don't know what to do about it. There's nothing that you can do. Shit has, is all over the place. And you're just like, oh my gosh, what do I do now? And then you find out, you find that camera in your home. And then you go looking in your bathroom and you find another camera. And you look in your kitchen and you find another camera. And you look in your car and you find another camera. And then you're like, oh my God, I've been played. And it's five years down the road now. And then and then you want to get out of the relationship. And then you tell him you don't want to be with him anymore. And then you call him and you break up. And then two weeks later, you find out you're pregnant. And then what do you do? You know? And then you're like, okay, well, I'm just going to do my best and then figure out, okay, well, maybe we can make it, make it work. You know, maybe I can try again. Maybe I can, I'm, I'm going to do this for the child, right? You know, put my best foot for it and, and do what's best for the family. You know, I, I just went down a rabbit hole. <laughs> I feel like, you know, yes. I mean, it, 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 it and we've seen this time and time again. And if you haven't experienced it yourself, you can clearly see that I have because, you know, I got all the details. But, um, you know, you've seen it in movies, you know, you've seen it on the TV shows, you know, and it, it in inevitably happens where there's only so much that, you know, you can, so long that they can hold on to and then it eventually starts to seep out more and more and more. And then it's boom. It's in your face. It's here. You can't ignore it any longer and you're stuck. There's nothing you can do. 
you know, and hopefully you figure out a way to get out of that. Or in Malia's case, you're dead. Um, you know what? Kyrie hit that right on the head. And like her, I've been through it too. And so, and I mean, put up with it for years. And um, one thing I used to always say, which now, you know, me and my age now want to tell 22, just mofo, 24 year old me. Um, I used to say, well, I made my bed, so now I got to lay in it. I used to say that um, when I knew he was wrong, I knew he was dead wrong. Um, sometimes it would come with gifts. It'd be a CD, a purse, uh, some food, some Cajun grill. You know, um, <laughs> that that was my spot. Um, but yeah, I dealt with that too. And we do, we make excuses um, for our men. Um, even when it's not the best. God, that was stupid. I used to always say that mess for real. Like, well, yeah, I know, you know, but, you know, he, he's stressed out. He's he's adjusting to being married. He's blah, blah, blah. You know, this is, you know, I always made excuses. And then to myself, because um, I wasn't really talking to anybody, um, I'd be like, well, Lily. This you made your bed lay in it, and that's just stupid. Like nowadays, I will freaking change the complete bed bedroom, <laughs> change that whole bed, throw it out, get a whole new bed, um, and bed set. I would I would never, um, these days. But um, getting back to the question, I just wanted to tap on that because I was like, yes, girl, I've been through it, through it. <laughs> Um, how much longer do you think? Not long, not long. Like the pieces are come. It, actually, she could figure it out now. Just with the little bit of stuff that's happened now, if she just sat and erased the sexiness and and want to smash him and just like put factuals together, like okay, this happened. I remember when he said this. I remember when his tone changed. You know about that, and you know I just kind of laughed it off because he's so fine. Um, <laughs> you know, so, um, she could figure it out now, but yeah, it's, I think it's going to escalate and escalate and escalate. Um, and at this point, I think he's comfortable. He don't care what she find out, <laughs> you know, she, she's in it. And so, um, he's starting to do stuff. She'll figure he ain't gonna be able to hide it for too long, especially as, you know, deep is she in, she is with him like she's just in hand foot heart soul does she you know she is soon to be uh mrs kong <laughs> in her mind mm -hmm. i put a put, put a ring on it um so yeah that's my answer he gonna be able to hide it for too much longer he about to do something major especially when he get his hands on chris um or 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 pops, cause Frank be acting up when he sees him, and I'm like, hey, boy, you walking a thin line. You gonna say the wrong thing one day. He gonna backhand you in front of your whole family, and ain't nothing you can do about it. You gonna start that 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 what do you call it? Fight in the air. Um, you gonna be doing that mess again. So um, yeah, she, he it ain't gonna be too much longer before you find it. You know, till so something is. Hits her dead in the face. Hopefully not him, but dead in the face where she can't deny it. You know, you're like, oh snap, because like a, he's getting comfortable. He don't care what she find out. He's taking care of business. Mr. Kong, King Kong, is coming King out Kong. Of the he's made of, and he's not afraid. And I feel, I feel like he's so. Let me fix this dress, honey. I feel like he's so bold, so, so like confident that whatever he does, Malia's not going nowhere. Like, why do you feel you're so, like you could break all these rules and do all this crazy stuff, and Malia's just gonna be like, "I love him," so I'll just, you know, I'm just like 
she has basically not because she hates men, but because she doesn't want to get hurt that situation with you and you don't think that she'll get up and try to run away. I mean, you might snatch her back, but why be overly confident? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Just don't on me. Mike's mama's boy syndrome and overconfidence is kind of in the same category. Chan's never been told no, you know, and, you know, he's had the red carpet rolled out for him too. Um, but, you know, his mom died at a younger age. His mom wasn't the issue. His dad darn sure wasn't the issue. Um, but I, I feel like it's a different name and I'm searching for it and I can't find it right now, but it's just that, um, that, you know, it's, th th that's something right there. <laughs> you guys know what it is, but I can't, we can't find the word right now for it. But it's just that over egoism, you know, I will, I'll leave it at that, that, you know, men can kind of find themselves in where they're, they just so get up that they're so haughty and they're so all this and they have this status and you ain't going to disrespect me because I'm king and I'm God and I'm, you know, like I'm all this. You know, and they don't realize, hey, 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 brother, you're human. That bullet that could take me out could take you out too. Okay, so calm down, humble yourself, you know? And so, but I, I, I felt like that was quite interesting how you put that, Karina, because I was just like, wow, you know, Kong being this child that his mother died at the at a young age and Mike, they, they do share similar qualities. And the same thing, we can fit Chris into this category. And, you know, Mike and Chris, are I mean Mike and uh Chan and Mike and Chan and Chris they have similar qualities but they're in different tax brackets but yet we still see Chan and Mike in the kind of the same tax bracket different family backgrounds and still showing the similar qualities you know and that's what I I became a people observer because I started seeing that at an earlier age and I'm just like you know like even with in my siblings being raised by the same mother, you know, and we are so different, you know, me and my sister, every time a lot of people that see my sister, they're just like, we can't believe you guys are raised in the same household, you know, and we see that dynamic, you know, and so it's very interesting how we can see how, you know, those those and, and ultimately, you know, you're your own person and you have to decide what you want your life to be. We know that. Right. But, you know, I do find it very interesting seeing people can come from similar backgrounds a little bit differently. And still, you know, we have these different dynamics going on here. But that was good. I never thought about that before. Yeah. I know. Was there, okay, did you ask, answer that question? Yeah, I answered. Okay, I'm sorry. My allergy me with like a dick. I'm being beat down, honey. I'm struggling, so when I'm, I'm sneezing. Okay, well, folks, that's team attached for you to hear about my nose. Um, Anyways. Name too much. Sorry. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our discussion on chapter 37, A Gift from Mike. Don't forget to tune in next week. We will be diving into episode 38. Until death do what's going to happen. We're going to find out. If you haven't already read it, like what you waiting for? Come on. First three episodes are free on Kendall Bella. So there's really no reason for you not to get, you know, hooked on to this story. We sure you will. We will. You know, are we here with y'all like every week or whatever? We yeah. Anyways, we're here with you guys. We love y'all. We love hearing from y'all. So we love hearing readers. So please add your thoughts, questions, your concerns, theories for what's happening with Malia. Do you feel bad for her? Do you want her and Mike to get back together? I hope you're not team Mike. And thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you again next week in Rosie. <laughs>